Okay. Put PR24. Okay. Oh. A lot of typing. A lot of typing. So we're going to put our stuff back. It might be the end of the shift, I, I guess, or he just wants to see you at the office. I don't know. So put key. Let's check the briefing room real quick to see if there's anything on the board. Oops. Oh, wait. Might as well check while we're here, right? It's empty. Okay. Good for Steve, he cleaned it out. All the subpoenas are gone. Okay. What if we need to write a report? Save your reports for, save your writing for reports. Okay, well, I tried, you know. I don't think I'm skipping out on work or something. I was just curious if you could do it, trying new things. All right. You wanted to see me, sir. Hello, Sonny. I have a memo here concerning you. Let me read it to you. And he's crying. As Sergeant Dilly starts to read, his eyes begin to sting and water profusely. Sergeant Dilly races for the bathroom, cursing the gremlin who's for spraying the memo with force. On his way out, Sergeant uh, Dilly yells, "Read that memo! Read the memo yourself, Sonny, if you can." From the hallway comes uncontrolled laughter as Dooley declares, When I find that gremlin, when I find who that gremlin is, I swear I'll kill him. Nice. Let's look at some stuff in here. These walls are, okay. Load the picture. Certificate of Accomplishment for Outstanding Achievement and the Leadership of City of Lytton Community Youth Programs. Being nosy. So this window must go out to the hall. You see the brickwork of an, of an exterior hall. Sit. You know, time to relax. Well, I, I think I do. Julie keeps his desk neat and orderly. In the bookcase are various volumes of Official departmental procedures and general orders guaranteed to cure insomnia. Look, trophy? Is that what that is? I bet they are. The inscription on the trophy reads, Sergeant Don Dooley, third place, fifth annual pygmy goat races. Okay. Interdepartmental inter memo from Lieutenant James Morgan, narcotics, regarding Officer, <coughs> Officer Bond, excuse me, <coughs> Officer Bonds' request for a temporary transfer to the Narcotics Department has been approved. Bonds is, a, is to report to my office ASAP in suitable street clothes. How about that? So his transfer, the transfer you put in, that Sonny put in, was approved. So he's, uh, he's done with patrol and possibly getting promoted to detective, but it's a transfer. Sonny got promoted. Look at that. So... Um, He's, it's not official yet, but at least he's out of patrol, right? You no longer receive your mail here. Yeah, so we're done. We are done here. Um, that's pretty much it for this part. I'm going to wrap it up here on the video. It's a long video. This is all patrol stuff. We're going to have him shower and be ready for the next, the next part of the game. Yeah, so we've already done that. Okay. Can you look at yourself? This is weird. Your clothes are, st are stylish, but the pockets are empty. Oh, yeah. Check pockets. Nothing in them? Hmm. So we put everything back. Tribute. And the Tribune and the wallet. So we'll take a shower. I always just try to see if he says anything else. That's all I'm doing. I'm not trying to do anything else. I'm not trying to take a shower with him. 
don't get any ideas. All right. So, so Sonny took a shower. I would imagine Sonny's, what, in his late 20s, early 30s, probably. Let's get it closed. So now he's going to take the clothes on the right, I think, because he took the ones on the middle. Yep. Get gun. Get ammo. And get case. We can take the briefcase. Yep. Get key. We don't need the keys. We're not off duty yet. You don't need the keys until you're off duty, yeah. So, gun. So now he's ready for. He's just talking about. He's complaining about the hot water. Hey, I don't answer to Sergeant Dooley anymore. And you will come back to get a radio here. <clears throat> Excuse me, but you don't have to get the patrol car keys anymore. So let's save it here. How's it hanging, big boy? Correct, Laura. Hello, Sonny. Laura wants to greet you. Lieutenant Morgan is waiting for you. You better get over there. Okay. So now we're about to begin... We're about to begin the part where you're becoming a narcotics detective. Sonny's about to go into Lieutenant Morgan's office, and he just got, I guess, promoted. It's temporary, but he just got promoted. So he's on probation, I guess, as far as... Uh, learning undercover narcotics and uh, they're going to see how well he does. So let's get started. Sonny's excited. He's not under Dooley's thumb anymore. <clears> Hello, <throat> oh, Sonny. Please step over here to my desk. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Morgan welcomes you to the narcotics division and explains the necessity of your new image. Sonny, I've decided to put you on the Hoffman case due to your involvement in the arrest. Your partner will be Detective Laura Watts. You can join Laura in her office now. Good luck on the case, and welcome aboard, Sonny. Thank you, sir. You're welcome to talk. And I have a lot of paperwork and no time to talk. Oh, okay. So just enough time to talk and tell me what to do. I got you. Nah. Lieutenant Morgan's cool. He's not a jerk. <clears throat> welcome, to the, welcome to the narcotics division, Sonny. Says Laura, I'm pleased you were selected for the position. Allow me to show you around. This is this file cabinet contains all our active narcotics cases, including Hoffman's file. Walk this way. Like this? Walk out. I'm just kidding. This keyboard contains keys to the unmarked cars that are assigned to the narcotics division. I've been meaning to update that clipboard hanging there. <coughs> By the way, your radio call number is 83 Nora 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. This will be your desk, Laura continues. Since you have your own desk now, your pigeonhole will be assigned to someone else. Cool. Sonny Laura says, earnestly, I attended Hoffman's arraignment. Says earnestly. Okay. I attended Hoffman's arraignment early this morning. He's being represented by some out-of-town hotshot lawyer. So he went to arraignment. For those of you who don't know what an arraignment is, that's where somebody goes before the magistrate or the judge, and they say, you're in here for this, all these charges, whatever his charges were, which was probably um, you know, unlawfully carrying a weapon, the stolen vehicle, and the drugs. He had marijuana and, our, and uh, cocaine, but we don't know how much and how they do it. If it's, it are you just... You're just in possession of it. You know, is there an enhancement charge for the amount you have? That kind of thing. But, uh, who knows? They're not, they're not going into all that detail. Uh, they're just, just the straight shot fact of this charge, this charge, this charge, and this charge. The jerk has convinced Judge Palmer that Hoffman is who he says he is, and that's not the worst of it. Judge Palmer set Hoffman's bail at only $500,000, Laura exclaims. We've got to show cause to justify a no-bail warrant. If Hoffman gets out on bail, we'll never see his ugly face again. Sonny, I have a meeting right now and can't stay. Hoffman is your baby now, and time is running out. I hope you can discover some information that will convince Judge Palmer to hold him without bail. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a minute since I've played this, so... What, and spoil this wonderful air conditioning? <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to try to remember. You see blue sky and green bushes. Sit. Um, look, lamp. I'm finding quite illuminating. Okay. 
Okay, how about I'm just looking around here? Look, board. The bulletin board is filled with terminally boring stuff. Look, shelf. The bookcase contains official dark departmental manuals. Yep. Look. Reading the departmental manual is about as much fun as reading the fine print on a life insurance policy. You'd rather read the back of a cereal box. No kidding. Look, map. This is the map of the city of Lytton. Okay. Sit. No time to relax. Fine. The desk on the right has in and out baskets, a telephone, but no nameplate. It's because you're new. Look, phone. It's a genuine LTNT black telephone. Same thing, lamp. Yep. Look, basket. You're not close enough. Oh, my word. Hey, it's empty. Okay. Um, open drawer, maybe? Oh, they're talking about the file drawer. Get key. You take the keys to the undercover car. <clears throat> Let's look at the clipboard in case it's been updated. I think we have to we have to somewhat hurry here. I don't remember. Okay, so it's all the same. Oh, oh, there we go. FBI most wanted list. Wanted for murder. 187 PC federal warrant. Number 219-293-1985. is his number. Looks like Hoffman. Jason Ticelli. Alias known to use the last names Harris and Hoffman. Physical, physical description, 5'11", 195 pounds. Black hair, brown eyes. Has tattoo of a flower above left nipple. Who told us that? Marie did at the bar. Wanted for the murder of a Columbia National suspected narcotics runner. Get paper? Picture? Don't need it. Get paper? No. Take? The clipboard must remain here in the, in the office. Okay, so what? Um, Jason Tacelli. Let's look him up. But he looks like Hoffman. So, what she wants you to do is find proof that this dirt bag is the same guy as Hoffman. Because he looks like Hoffman. You got Hoffman, Justin Fletch, Jenkins, Malone, Watson, and something in the back. I don't know. The file drawer contains five folders, each labeled with the name of the case. One, two, three, four, five, and that one's empty, I guess. So we'll just, we're, I think we're pressed for time. I don't remember, so we'll get Hoffman. Oh, back. Yeah. 7373. Look at that. Damn near the same person. He's got a mustache. Name Marvin Hoffman, alias Leroy Pearson. Physical 5'11, 195. Black over brown, Caucasian. Identifying marks, scars, tattoos, etc. Tattoo, small flower above left nipple. Date of birth 3149. Last known address 31 West 104th Street, Chicago, Illinois. Bail is $500,000. Date of arrest 9783. Time of arrest 1545. So I guess this is set in 1983, even though it's 1987. I don't know if they were paying attention to that or not. I have no idea. Charges suspicion of murder, auto theft, narcotics, possession, evading arrest, concealed weapon, reckless driving. Those are all. Yep. I don't know about the suspicion of murder, but I guess in California you can do that. Uh, or maybe you used to be able to do that. Expired Illinois driver's license number A472457 in name of M. Hoffman. Temporary California driver's license number CA C8477656, name of L. Pearson. We better write these down. So we've got uh, A... 472 457 and then we've got C847 7, It does not hurt to write some stuff down. Arrest summary. One, observed without front license plate. Ah, so that's how he was stopped. Um, I didn't notice that, but that's what it says. Two, rear plate near match with suspicious 187 vehicle, uh, PC vehicle. Three, suspect attempted to evade arrest. Four, initiated pursuit. Five, felony stop. 
Six suspect in custody, seven narcotics seized, eight stolen vehicle recovered, nine vehicle turned over to narcotics division. Evidence form five, oh, here we are, five pounds marijuana established, or estimated value, $4,000. One pound of cocaine, estimated value, $250,000. And one Smith & Wesson 45 automatic handgun, serial number SW, we better write this down, SW97649. Seven, six, four, nine, one, two. One black notebook. Vehicle information, 83 Cadillac DeVille, blue, original, originally blue. Okay, well, I think they meant black. They just, uh, I think that's a mistake on the developer's part, maybe. License number LOP1238, VIN CO3456218. L O P one two three eight. I'm writing this down. Stolen from Lytton, California, registered to Malcolm Washington, two thirty four West Center Street, Lytton, California. There are both of his license. We already read those, but definitely the same person. Take file. You remove the Hoffman file from the door. Hell yeah. Open drawer. So now what we need to do is we need to establish proof that this is the same person so they can get a no bail warrant to hold Hoffman in jail before he bonds out because if once he's out, he's gone. You're not going to find him again, and he's a dangerous guy that does not to be, need to be out of jail. Not jail. Use computer. So let's put in Pearson. That was the other name. 555-6537, unlisted number, Leo or Pearson. 1037 Grove Street, apartment number 334, Linton, California, Hotel Telforia. Huh. Okay, so his number is 555-6537. Um, Hoffman. A472457. A472457. Yep. A472457. A472457. Right. How about <clears throat> LOP1238? Yep, black. Okay. Um, let's do C84776. C84776. Nothing. SW976 4912 45 caliber automatic handgun serial number SW976 4912 reported stolen Chicago 12486 That's weird so they got the age the, the the dates are a little off now they're showing it as if it was before this year 1987 but the arrest for this guy was 1983. Maybe that's a different arrest. I don't know. Contact Detective Tabor at CPD. Ah, okay. 1312. 555-38. 555-3382. Tabor. So we need to let him know what's going on with that. Um... I think that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't know that there are anything else. Oh yeah, it's Sully. Test Sully. Jason Sully Fed warrant. One two three one nine eight five alias Marvin Hoffman. Ha! We have you. Five eleven one ninety five black brown tattoo of flower above left nipple. Print. No. Um. Sully. What? 
I keep hitting the wrong thing. Um, print. It's a selling. So it's, it's, damn. It's showing that it's him. We need to, we need to print something out, like get picture. It's weird. Um, I guess we could talk. We could talk to the detective. Let's get some information here. Russ says, what can I do for you, flyboy? Get gun. Now, Sonny, you know this is official evidence to go running off without it, or running off with it. SW9764912, right? SW9764912. Yep, that's what I got. It's a, it's a Smith & Weston, <laughs> not Weston, it's Weston 45 caliber automatic handgun. I'm looking something up real quick. Stand by. Let's see. Yeah. They're misspelling them on purpose because it's a different name. Uh, they probably aren't allowed. They weren't allowed to use these names back then. Look, number. The serial number on the gun is SW9764912. Look, ammo. No. All right. Give gun. After careful, careful examination of the weapon, you return it to evidence. It book. Now, Sonny, you know this is official evidence. Don't go running off with it. So we've already read all these. LW, Lonnie West, Terminate LW. That's probably him. And JM is, uh, I don't know, Jose Martinez? I, I think he was mentioned. Um, poker that was mentioned by an informant. don't know who the other ones are. RG, HD, RO, Robert G. Okay, so RG is Robert G, maybe. R no, that's RO. I don't know who that is. And JB. I know who JB is, but you'll see. Okay. After browsing through the suspect's personal address book, you return it to evidence. Thank you, sir. All right, so what we need to do, let's go ahead and take a radio. Uh, let's talk to Laura. Is she in here? No, oh, she is not. Let's make a phone call then. Um, let's call Tabor. 312-555-3300. Good Lord, that's loud. Chicago PD, Detective Tabor speaking. How may I help you? Talk to Selly. Detective Tabor says, Oh, yes, we know your man, Jason DeSelly, alias Hoffman, alias Pearson. He is linked to a big time car shark and drug runner named Jesse Baines. Both have dropped from sight in our area. I'll send you a mugshot of this guy, Baines. Good luck. Click. Cool. Let's save, but we're going to. Do alternate. Okay, use phone. Five 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 six five three seven. I forget. I can't remember who this is. Pearson. Oh yeah, Pearson. The hotel room. Hmm. No answer. Click. Yeah, I wonder why. Probably because he's in jail. So. His phone. What other numbers we have? Is that it? We could call Lieutenant Morgan, but we don't need to do that. Um, that's about it. Uh, 411. University of Directory Assistance. Thank you for using LTNT. Um, Litton Jail. Sorry, there's no. Oh my god. How about courthouse? Okay. Um, courthouse? 
Of course. So... My thing is... He said, he said Baines, right? He said Baines? Wanted for murder, drug involvement, prostitution, last seen area of Chicago, Illinois. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. C8477-6356. Nothing. FBI. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, mugshot. Means picture. Hoffman. I'm trying to think of. There was something else we we're supposed to do, and I, I swear it was getting the the picture of him. Tacelli. Tacelli is his real name. <clears throat> All right. Well, maybe not. I guess we can't uh, print anything else. Let's run down to the courthouse before this guy gets out of jail. We need the no bail warrant so that he doesn't get bonded out. <clears throat> because of how dangerous he is. Maybe we need to stop by the lieutenant's office. No, we don't. Okay. So we're gonna run out there. You can use, now we're using this car. Let's do a check. And the side looks okay. Can't go any further back. It's like a Cadillac or something, right? Or at Lincoln. Having performed the prescribed walk around safety check of your vehicle, you're now ready to hit the streets. Yes. Yes, we are. What did it say? Let me double check that bar. Open door. The next seat is reserved for prisoners, and you have none. Door. I mean, closed door. <laughs> door. Look. Something special. Look. Dashboard. Look. Seat. Nothing. All right. So we're going to run to the courthouse. And. Oh my God. Okay. We're going to get to the courthouse and uh, try to obtain a no bail warrant. Q Radio 83 Nora 10, traveling south on 7th Street. Before we do that, I'm going to stop by the jail and see. Nah, we'll just, we'll, we'll go in and be better this way. Let me save it. We'll save it on the alternate, because we don't want to mess anything up. UQ Radio 83 Nora 10, 1020 at Lytton Municipal Court Building. The people of Lytton are very proud of this courthouse, built in 1873 by, des by descendants of the town's first settlers. The marble was imported all the way from West Lytton. <laughs> like it was far away or something. Yeah. Okay. I always check. I try to use Control, control D on the dispatch part. Can we go anywhere else? Just curious. Nothing of interest is happening in that direction. I think it'll open automatically. There are people inside. They wonder why you're staring in the windows instead of walking inside. It's 
This is the outer reception room of the courthouse. The court clerk's office is behind the glass window to the right. The courtroom is through the double doors. Looks like somebody getting ready to pitch, you know, like batter up on that uh, that statue thing. I don't know what, what to call it. Look, wall. There's nothing of interest except that statue. I asked what the statue was, and it's like, what's the statue? Of justice above the double doors leading to the courtroom. It's, it's holding the scale, I guess. That's funny. Look, door. These doors lead to Judge Kim Palmer's courtroom. Look, window. Clock. There's no one nearby. How do you do, sir? May I help you? Hi. And good day, sir. How may I help you? Yes. Talk Hoffman. Uh, see, Judge? I'm sorry, but Judge Kim Palmer's court is presently in session. Yes, thank you. Um, talk. No bail. I can only interrupt a court in session for, extreme, for an extreme emergency. Talk. To Selly. Damn. Talk. Emergency? Please wait a moment. I'll send a message with the bailiff. Ha! The bailiff says, Judge Palmer will see you. If you can make it quick, go on into the courtroom. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Judge Palmer strikes the gavel. Silence. I will consider Mr. Bonds' request. Mr. Bonds, you may approach the bench. Mr. Bonds, who or what is this warrant for, says the judge. This court is in session. The bailiff proceeds towards you. Let's save it real quick in case I mess up. Look, judge. Look, bailiff. Okay. Hawk, judge. Hello. Cecily. Who is that? Hoffman. Dun, dun, dun. And what information do you have to substantiate the validity of, validity of a warrant? Same person. Give to Sally file. All right. Do you have any other information? Tattoo. Mr. Bonds, you are keeping this entire courtroom waiting while you attempt to establish your case. Talk. Tattoo. Of a nipple. Talk. Nipple. Talk, Rose, Tattoo. Talk. Uh, trying to think what else. How do we establish it's the same person? He has a Rose Tattoo. Uh, rose, Tattoo. 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 Over, left, nipple. Explain tattoo. Jeez, Louise. Talk. Nipple. Talk. Nipple. Tattoo. I am trying everything I could possibly think of. Look, file. All right, do you have any other information? Tattoo. Tattoo. Uh. To selling tattoo.
see here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, picture, read file. Hoffman. To selling. Nipple tattoo. I, I don't know. I can't remember what you're supposed to put. Uh, you're most fortunate. I do not hold you in contempt. Shut. Yeah, let's show this gentleman out of my courtroom. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, flower. Flower. Um, give file. Flower. Nipple tattoo. What is it? What? Why can't I remember this? Uh, talk urgent. Talk murder. I may not have the information I need. Uh, get warrant. Man, I can't remember. Um. That's nice. I'm going to have to look this up. I really don't remember. It's been that long. I just remember it was that. How many times have we... We mentioned that. Uh, let's see. I'm actually looking this thing up because I cannot. I cannot find it. Um, excuse me. Hmm. There's got to be a flower tattoo. That's why that's what they were talking about. Poster tattoo. Okay. Poster. For attempted to present evidence you do not have, Judge Palmer says, I hereby find you in contempt of court. Ah! So good thing we saved it. It was... I don't remember how to get that poster, but I think we have to print it out. So... That is why you... That is why you... Save. See? Okay, so get poster. 
Aha, tattoo of flower above left nipple. You take the FBI wanted poster knowing Judge Palmer will find it very interesting. Hell yeah. I should have done that before. Good deal. Okay. Put clipboard. I apologize about the wait. But hey, wasn't that worth it? the bailiff to retrieve the evidence and hand the evidence to the bailiff your heart races as Judge Palmer evaluates your evidence you think to yourself this punk cannot go free Judge Palmer scans the items are presented, are presented and, re and questions what makes you think these two men are the same person Mr. Bonds nipple tattoo the bailiff and court reporters squirm and choke, trying to conceal their laughter while you quietly tell the judge your tale of tattoos and nipples. The judge attempts to stifle her giggles, but fails. Judge Palmer whispers softly to you, Well, Mr. Bonds, it appears your friend has his tit caught in the ringer. Stifling her laughter, Judge Palmer says, Congratulations, Mr. Bonds, your request is granted. Here is a no-bail warrant issued to the name of Jason Tasselli, alias Marvin Hoffman. Bailiff, deliver this to Mr. Bonds and escort him out. Oh, okay. Hoffman's not in court yet, but um, he's still at the jail. This is just another court session that you've interrupted. Here you are, Mr. Bonds. I hope you are not too late. Tacelli's attorney is at the jail at this very moment attempting to his release. Oh, dear God, I've got to go. I would jump over that gate. <laughs> Open door. All right. That is how you do it. And luckily, the... Uh, Jail is right across the street. Son of a Curator 83 North 10, traveling north on 7th Street. Curator 83 North 10, 1020 at Lytton City Jail. Alright, let's get up there. Skip some steps. Open door. Always check your gun in the locker. Because it's dangerous, you don't want a gun in the jail, and you don't want the bad guys to try to take it, and it counts points off too, and I think you fail. Push button. We've already read that, so I'll have to read it. Some hey, Sonny, come, on, come over here, says the jailer. I have something to tell you. The jailer sees. I hope you know, Bonds, at this very moment, Hoffman's lawyer is in, there, in the front reception area bailing that worm out. Uh, oh yeah, no bail warrant. Look, no bail warrant. You hand the jailer the no bail warrant just in time to keep Mr. Tacelli from returning to the streets. Oh man, this is great, Sonny. The jailer laughs. I hope you know this will slam the old boy's orifice shut. I'll be right back. This is going to blow his attorney's mind. Yeah, that would piss the attorney off because there's nothing they can do about it. I was trying to look at it myself, but I guess I can't do that. That's okay. Boy, that made my day, Sonny. You should have seen the guy. He started ranting and raving like a little kid who had just had his who just had his lollipop taken away. Thank you. You're welcome. The other Gucci. Okay, so we're already we're done with that. All right. Open the door. Get a gun. Close door. Open the door. Nora 10, we're traveling north on 7th Street. So right now we're going to head back. We've got the no bill warrant issued. Tacelli is going nowhere. Security 83 Nora 10, 1020, LPD headquarters. 
It looks like Laura is waiting for you. You wonder what's up. I'm going to save it here. 